Are you kidding me? Ford files a patent for your vehicle to drive off if you miss payments? I was reading an article from the drive the other day and Ford really did file for a patent for a system that would tell your owners based on how close you are to missing your monthly payments. Or would drive yourself to a junkyard if it's not worth a lot of money or even aside if you're in a medical emergency. But what if I told you this system can even get the police involved and turn off options like your air conditioning just to piss you off until you make your payments? I came across this article online by The Drive discussing a new patent that Ford has filed. Looking over the patent, it was filed in August 2021 and it is titled Systems and Methods to Repossess a Car. Clear intent as to what this system is designed for. Reading the article, it says the system, which could be installed in any future vehicle in the automaker's lineup with a data connection, will be capable of disabling a functionality of one or more components of the vehicle. Everything from the engine to the air conditioning. But for vehicles with autonomous or semi-autonomous driving capabilities, the system could move the vehicle from one spot to a second spot that is more convenient for a tow truck to tow the vehicle. Move the vehicle from the premises of the owner to a location such as, for example, the premises of a repossession agency. If the lending institution considers the financial viability of executing a repossession procedure to be unjustifiable, the vehicle could drive itself to a junkyard instead. But this is a very big concern, and this is how the system will work in one example. First, a computer sends to a second computer a message pertaining to a notice of delinquency of a vehicle-related payment. That message includes a request to the individual, such as the purchaser or the leasee of a vehicle, for them to acknowledge the receipt of their actual message itself. The first computer may be associated with a financial agency, a bank, or a lender, and the second computer may be the vehicle computer of your vehicle, or maybe even your smartphone owned by the individual. When an acknowledgement is not received within a reasonable amount of time, the first computer may disable functionality of a component of the vehicle or may place the vehicle in a lockout condition. The lockout condition may be lifted momentarily in the case of an emergency to allow the vehicle to travel to a medical facility. And what medical facility may you be allowed to drive to? Or will you even be allowed to even go to the hospital, period? The patent states that a lockout condition may be lifted momentarily in case of an emergency situation so as to allow the vehicle to travel to a medical facility when an emergency is actually in a medical emergency. The first computer may cooperate with a vehicle computer of the vehicle, which could be an autonomous vehicle for example, to enable the vehicle to move to a medical facility, which includes a hospital, emergency center, etc., or travel to a rendezvous spot to rendezvous with an emergency vehicle such as the ambulance for example. So who is making the decision if your emergency is serious enough for a trip to the hospital or to an urgent care or just some parking lot where you can meet up with an ambulance? And I notice how the pack keeps saying the vehicle may cooperate. So there's no certainty that someone or some algorithm in the background would even allow the vehicle to move or function if they even think you're not in an emergency. Preventing someone from using a device such as a vehicle in potentially a medical emergency or a dangerous situation shouldn't even be legal just because the person missed a the payment. There are plenty of situations that can happen and those situations could lead to a payment being missed. Now, I'm not gonna make excuses for people missing their obligated payments, but there are situations beyond your control and this is where something like this system could put people at risk. Let's say you live in Florida and you use a credit union that only has a few branches. A hurricane comes through and wipes out the data center and your payment doesn't go through. So will you be stuck in a hurricane disaster area because Ford didn't receive your payment? You may not even have cell phone service in that disaster area, but a GPS satellite can send a signal down and lock your vehicle and you're just stuck. Will missing the payment by a day automatically lock you out of your vehicle? or a certain time period where things will stop working just like your key fobs. Or would the air conditioning cease to work and you live in Arizona, for example, and it's over 100 degrees. Or you live somewhere in the Northeast and it's record low temperatures and you may potentially freeze to death in your car because you missed a car payment. The patent goes on to say that features like cruise control, window and seat controls, key fobs, door locking systems are just some of the things that Ford or rather your car lenders could do to make your life uncomfortable when you miss payments. 
There is even a section in the patent that says they can emit an insistent and unpleasant sound every time the owner is present in the vehicle. The repossession system computer may also ensure that the owner is unable to turn the sound off without first making contact with the lending institution to address the payment delinquency. So as I said earlier, I'm not making excuses for people to miss their payments, but if these companies think doing this is okay, then why can't I do it to them? I'll give you an example. My old Hellcat in 2017, it had to sit in a dealership for like six weeks for a variety of issues from damaged interior panels from the factory, a check engine light from one of the oil sensors, and I forget what else, but you get my point that the car was gone for six weeks and I still had to make payments on a vehicle I had just purchased four weeks before. So can I punish Dodge, making their life annoying until my Hellcat is fixed? My 2003 Chevy Avalanche, for example, I had to limit law that vehicle because the four-wheel drive system kept giving me an error and an airbag system as well. So for an entire year, I had to go to the dealership several times until it was finally declared a lemon because it can never get fixed. So is it okay for me as a customer to make the dealership life miserable by playing loud noises while they're at work each time they're not able to get my vehicle fixed? I mean, I can go on and on. Can there be some kind of system that I can employ against Ford for my 2017 Ford Fusion having a defective engine? Or maybe a build theme because my Ram TRX gave me the avoid aggressive maneuvers message for two months and I couldn't use none of my drive modes. If Ford or any other company think it is okay to make mine or anyone else's life an inconvenience just because of a mispayment, then where is my ability to do the same thing to them when they sell me a glitchy or inferior product? Because some vehicles have a terrible build quality and some products a company push out, they know are glitchy, but they figure in this age of technology, they can apply a fix later. But they can get their money first from you instead of making sure it works perfectly beforehand. Think of every piece of electronic device that you have that annoys you or doesn't work 100%. Would those companies like it if customers were able to turn off their lights, lock their doors, play annoying sounds while they're at work, restrict when bathroom doors are unlocked, and customers can dictate if it is a medical emergency and unlock certain doors to the bathroom? Can I turn off my internet service provider's air conditioning because my service was down or it slows down when people get off from work? Or if voters can turn off politicians' lights in their office because they're trying to pass a bill that we don't like? This patent is part of the reason I don't like connected tech. Someone will find a way to abuse the technology and put you in a bind, but not themselves. Take the states that have rolling blackouts, for example. Will the government be able to come in and lock your vehicle out from charging to conserve energy on the grid? Or this example where thousands of customers were locked out of their thermostats because of an energy emergency? This needs to be addressed and stopped. New Jersey stepped up last year to introduce a bill that would stop car companies from loading cars down with options, then disable them behind paywalls, and then having you to pay a subscription fee in order to enable that option that's already pre-installed. And hopefully, if this bill passes, other states will join in and prevent these car companies from further increasing vehicle prices. Because all the hardware required for the use heated seats, crew control, and even Ram's idea of reducing payload capacity are already installed on the vehicle. But you can check out this video right here where I talk about that bill. If the past was about increasing margins by moving customers, north in hardware and trim levels, our future is about offering customers software-based services. We will give our customers the ability to upgrade their vehicles in real time. Dodge is developing performance upgrades, including driver tunable software that will deliver an immediate horsepower boost. Software will also enable Alfa Romeo to enhance the sportiness and bring the driver-centric experience to the next level. And for our Ram pickup owners, customers can increase the capability of their truck to handle greater loads. Now let's talk about long road trips. The ability to customize your in-cabin experience with entertainment options like premium stereo, Wi-Fi, streaming music, or Fire TV built-in can be added easily on the fly. You can quickly see the opportunities unfolding. We are projecting annual growth of more than 60%. But going back to this patent that Ford filed a couple years ago, there needs to be a bill introduced that prevent companies from doing this. Imagine being in a dangerous situation and this system is the reason something bad happens to you. Even if you don't pay your cell phone bill, you can still dial 911 on the phone and get yourself some help. This system, on the other hand, can't have the police show up at your door because you missed a car payment. Just look at the diagrams. They explain the whole thing right here. 
but let me know what you guys think. Is it okay for companies to make a system like this and impose it on customers? Do you think customers should be able to disable their systems instead if something's wrong with your vehicle or your device? And should there be legislation introduced to prevent companies from making systems designed to annoying you just because you missed a single payment? But if you found this video helpful, leave it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Grab some merch on your way out. And until the next video, I'm out.